Hey guys, welcome back. Unless if you're already a subscriber, then welcome. Or no, that's not how it goes. Unless if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Mateo Blanco. If you saw my last video, we have a different background today. Well, I'm just testing the, I'm just testing the background. I'm just testing the backgrounds. That, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you. I'm just testing the backgrounds and seeing which one fits better. I don't know how like this is gonna look after the editing and the coloring. I don't know how that's gonna look. I know that's right. Who knows? Maybe it's gonna be like overexposed and like super bright. I don't want anything popping out. Okay, so this is clearly the day before after dummy. of the video that you're watching right now. And I'm editing it. First of all, I'm not wearing any makeup. Like, today's my editing day. Like, I take the whole day to edit. <laughs> editing this video right now, I'm like, the background was pretty shit yesterday. Yesterday was such a cloudy day. And I didn't realize that, like, the clouds were moving so much in the background that I kept messing up with the exposure. I'm not gonna do anything right now because obviously, what can I do? I wish that was a permanent background, but clearly it's not going to be. Although, like, this is a pretty good background. Yeah, this is definitely a good background. Anyways, here's the video. But aside the obvious, today we're gonna talk about what you've all been waiting for the start of my butt enlargement. Journey. Yeah, let's go to a journey because I have a surprise coming up. But yeah, let's dive right in. I forgot to mention that um, I'm gonna try to insert as many before and afters as I could, but if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you already know that my content isn't the most YouTube friendly. So there's that. This is only gonna be part one for my butt enlargement journey. And surprise, I'm actually gonna go bigger in two weeks. And I, oh! For my birthday, I'm excited for that. And I know everyone's gonna be in my ass on, oh my God, I meant on my ass. Part one of my butt large my journey took place back in April 2018. How many years ago was that? I'm terrible at math, clearly. <laughs> One, two, three, four, four. Back in Beverly Hills, California. And it was kind of funny because I had gynecomastia, which is what I wanted to get rid of originally. And that's what I told my parents I was gonna get done. I was still living under the roof, so obviously I had to like let them know. But what they didn't know is that I decided to get a full-on Brazilian butt lift because, you know, I was gonna go under anesthesia. So like, why not get two in one is how I felt. So they thought I was just going for my gynecomastia, which you don't know. It's like a fatty pad that you have under your chest that you can't get rid of through working out. You can only get rid of it like surgically. Like you literally have to like get it extracted out. So that's what I booked that for. But I decided to get the Brazilian bullets as well. The price back then was 12,500. I already had a fan site. <laughs> Made me pretty good money back then. What I always say to everyone in person is that I always had a nice ass. I'll insert some pictures here. It was like a muscular ass, which I know it was good before already, but my issue was like the hip dips. I wanted like the hourglass. So there wasn't like any sort of inspiration to look up to. Again, goes back to the whatever I like come up with in my head or whatever I think of, like I'll get it done. Yeah, I don't think about it twice. I'm just like, I want it. Okay. Or whatever Ariana Grande said. I know it's like one of like the top surgeries that is like the most dangerous, but I wasn't afraid because I was more excited for the outcome. So I just wanted to get it done, but I honestly didn't do 
my research, so I didn't know what complications could come about. I was just like, you know what? Let's go ahead and book it. Now I like make sure to like do all my research. Duh. Back then I didn't even like know exactly what anesthesia was. I was just like, it puts you to sleep and that's it. Like it's not like harmful or dangerous. So yeah, I literally wasn't scared. I was just like, put it in me doc. Do your research because I unfortunately, for my first round, I, I, oh my God, so embarrassing. I literally went on Yelp just like the Brazilian butt lift in my area and I just chose the one that was number one. She don't love herself. And I was like, let's fucking go. This before and afters were good. Obviously that's why I booked it either way. But unfortunately, I mean like, California isn't really known for like body wise. It's more low key, like natural. And obviously most of their clients that get their bodies done are like 35, like 40. So obviously they want like a more like, just petite look and I was going in like fresh out of high school like just give me this which I told the doctor that and he literally told me he doesn't do those type of bodies so I was just like okay give me paper to sign like let's just get this done yeah so post op you drive back home same day well for me because I I lived in the city so whatever so my prince dropped me off at the doctor's office and I literally walked out like a fucking hourglass and they were just like shocked. They were literally so shocked they didn't even say anything like that same day like or mention it. They brought it up like after my recovery but like literally well, that's for like a whole nother video. I mean if you guys want to watch that like my growing up. Honestly this was probably one of my like worst recoveries ever just because Props to anyone that has gotten BBA loans. You feel alone a lot because, first of all, you can't sit down for like two months. What is that, like 60 days? 60 days of like, no face-to-face -face contact. Or at least you feel alone. Maybe you have someone taking care of you. So yeah, since I got everything done in one day, like it wasn't like a process of like working out and like losing weight. So I didn't know how to feel in my new body. You may fuck me, you fuck the old body. So I would literally like bump into things. I would literally like just walk around the house and I would have to like make sure not to bump into anything. This was still at that time when I was still at my job that I mentioned in my last video, except I got a promotion. So I had one of those desks that like they lift up since you can't sit for like two straight months. I kind of worked hand in hand. After surgery, after like a week I think, I went back to work. Even though I didn't mention it to my parents, my dad was still driving me back and forth to work. And since you can't sit, I would have to lay down in the back seat, and then my dad would have to help me get in and help me get out. So that would be me five days a week for like the next month. And it was a mission. When I tell you it's a mission, I'm like full on. It's a mission. I wasn't gonna stop working, you know? And obviously I wasn't gonna go anywhere else. Like where could I go with like, bandages and like a faha and like almost like bleeding out and then after the first month you're not able to sit completely but you're able to have your thighs rest on like a rolling cylinder so you're not fully sitting down and even on top of that i got hips so if you like sit down it kind of bends the little hip area so which it kind of makes your your hips like squish in so you aren't supposed to be on the cylinder too much either way but you could do the cylinder after one month but even then like after maybe four months of my surgery i already knew i was gonna get another one and another one and another one and then maybe for like the next six months my like whole stomach area was like numb like i couldn't feel anything that's when i got my nipples pierced because my chest was also numb and honestly for like all of these videos i might be mentioning my doctors because so yeah, overall I loved the surgery. Or my leg. So this procedure was like a nice base for what I have now. But I can appreciate that it got me to where it launched me today. So I mean I'm in New York by myself. No money, no family, 16 in the middle of New York. If I would have changed anything, I probably would have done some more research because honestly, 
Latin America is where the BBLs are at. I mean, I did go, I went to Latin America, but I mean, if I were you, and like you're looking at this video for like educational purposes, then I'd go to Latin America. So yeah, that was my, well, not even my journey, but this is the start of my enhancement journey. So if you guys have any questions that maybe I missed throughout this video, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to everyone. And then also my, oh my God, it looks like I'm like doing like some Kim Kardashian tape. But also my birthday outfit just got here, so I need to go pick that up. I'll show you guys next week what it is, because that crap was custom since March that I ordered it. I'll show you guys next week. What's next week? It's October next week? I don't know. I'm living day by day, boy. Day by day. Day by day. Day by day. I wanted to bleach my eyebrows too for my birthday, but I remembered that I got them microbladed. So underneath like this, it's like still, it's like tattooed dark, so I can't even bleach them white. Or should I say Blanco? But yeah. Sorry if I'm shaky, I literally just had a rebel. I still need something over here, but I still need to hang this up there. Right now it's just rested on there, but oh my god. Got the body of a goddess. Iconic. This was shot by Leon Dash. I'm not gonna zoom in all the way down, but I have to get ready in a bit and oh my god, I'm not even looking at the lens. Um I'm gonna get ready in a bit and like go to the gym. So see you guys later.